This is Larry Short with MushroomObsession.com. I'm in my garage, and this is my simple little dehydrating setup here. I got this dehydrator at a yard sale for five bucks. I don't know what they cost new, uh, but I've used it for three or four years, and it works great. Uh, you just plug it in to an electric power source. You set your temperature for mush most mushrooms. I leave it at the the vegetable's temperature, which is about 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this dehydrator has comes with four four racks. Here's my uh, we're talking about shaggy parasols today and what to do with them. So there's my shaggy. So I'm going to dehydrate. I'm going to pick as many as are mature every day for the next week or two as they're maturing, and I'm going to dehydrate them separately. I just dehydrated a group of um, um, lobster mushrooms, which dehydrate very well and store very well. And so I'm going to um, set those aside for now. Lobsters, nice little tasty lobsters. And they will dehydrate well and they're great in Asian foods. Um, Tom Kha soup, this one, a lot of Thai food, things like that. So they're nice. I think I've got a big shroom back there. That's a big piece of lobster that's stopped in the show. So this uh, dehydrator has four racks, but uh, most lobsters like the, uh, most mushrooms like these obviously are too tall for uh, to fit it in a four rack configuration. So I'll put one rack in there and those four will, five mushrooms will sit on that one rack quite handily. So I'm gonna, I've already done my spore print um, and I've determined, I've confirmed that uh, as you can see, the uh, spores of these mushrooms are very cream white in color, not greenish at all. So I know that they're uh, one of the edible varieties of shaggy mushrooms and not shaggy parasols and not the, um, the poisonous or the toxic variety, the molybdatus. So we're just simply going to arrange these on our dehydrator pan on the bottom, like so. It'll take them less than probably 18 to 24 hours to dehydrate. So maybe there's a little bug on now. These things are the bugs love these things. They're tasty. So you got to watch out for the bugs. I guess if you dehydrate a bug, it probably doesn't matter a whole lot. Um, you can wipe the spores right off the the vinyl. That's a vinyl notebook I use for work. So uh, no issues there. So I'm gonna slide that in there. Put my guard in and turn it on and I'll let it run, the dehydrator run for about 18 to 24 hours until they're thoroughly dehydrated and then I will actually plug in the dehydrator. Uh, then I will uh, put them into plastic quart size freezer bags and uh, store them for a year or two. We'll rehydrate them after a year or two and they'll be wonderful. Okay, happy shrimping.